there, I'm Nina, and welcome to my garden. This is my happy place, alive with an ever-changing mix of veggies and fruit trees, living soil, and tons of flowers. My passion is helping people everywhere create their own gardens and learn how to grow an abundance of food at home. If you set your space up to win, gardening can become a meaningful rhythm of your life, and I'm here to help you get started. Y'all know that chickens are my actual love language, right? Like farm animals, my rule is the more the better. Uh, but chickens are such a good addition to a basic homestead. Like if you have a garden and you're kind of in the flow and you want to add something really meaningful, you should totally add chickens because you can grow protein at home. Like seven grams of protein in each little egg is an amazing addition to being able to sustain your family and produce that protein without having to do the animal processing. A lot of people are adding chickens to their homestead and you can either get them from the local feed store or a local hatchery or you can order them online and they come in the mail in a box. It's the cutest thing ever. So when they're little they just need food and water and warmth like from a heat lamp or a heat plate and they need a social life. I'm not even kidding. The more you handle your baby chickens gently and play with them, the better they're gonna be when they're older because they know that people are okay. Like if you want them to have personalities and be able to have fun with you when they're bigger, then the more you handle them when they're little, the better. And then once they get big, they need a coop. So you're either gonna have a stationary coop with a run and feed them all your kitchen scraps in there to get them that variety, uh, let them out every once in a while, or you can build a mobile coop like what we did. When we moved to this farm, we had scraps of stuff like old building materials from other projects and the first thing we did was build a chicken coop. So we needed to get tools and some of these materials and we figured it out. We love this coop and you can have a similar one if you want because we have the plans online at thedirtacademy.com where you can kind of get an idea for what's gonna work for your system. And we have the electric perimeter fence on the outside that's solar powered. It's a really cool setup. You will learn a lot as you take care of your chickens, but it's a lot easier if I just tell you four quick things to get you started. So diatomaceous earth is a secret ingredient to keeping healthy chickens because sometimes chickens can get little mites or little problems, like little health problems that you can fix. So when we move our chickens around the yard, they always scratch an area down to the dirt and the sand. And I add diatomaceous earth into that spot and it cleans their feathers. So you don't wanna inhale it because it can be irritating if you breathe it in, but diatomaceous earth helps a lot for general chicken health. The next is oyster shells. That's like broken, crushed up seashells, basically. And so if you think of chickens laying eggs their whole life, almost every day, some breeds, it's a really calcium heavy process for their body. So it really helps, it's like giving them vitamins to give them these oyster shells and give them a boost to keep that egg production up without taking such a toll on their body. The third thing that might help you, that it took me way too long to figure out, is that if you live in a backyard, maybe where you have a neighbor dog, that might be dangerous if your chickens fly the fence. Or maybe you live close to a road and you don't want your chickens wandering around in the street, you can clip their wings without hurting them. So you spread the wing of your chicken out and you'll notice that the first 10 feathers are called their flight feathers and they're much longer than the rest of their wing. So you can take sharp scissors and trim those feathers. It's just like cutting their nails. It doesn't hurt them and it protects them actually because they're gonna stay in the safe space that you've created instead of them flying out everywhere. I used to ch chase my chickens like 10 times a day because they would fly the fence and it was so distracting, uh, but they'll stay safe if you're able to cut their wings. Okay, sometimes people ask, why are there different color eggs for the different chickens. Like in our flock of eight hens, we have eight different color eggs in our dozen, and they're beautiful. So just like every human has a different makeup in their genetics and a different color skin, every breed of chicken has a different color egg. It's just the pigment in their body that creates that light brown or dark brown or blue or green or speckles, things like that. So the same chicken will lay the same color egg their whole life, but they're all different. 
Good news, good news. We're getting ducks and I'm so excited. We're only getting three just to start. We're headed to the farmer's market in the morning to learn from some farmers that I've gotten to know over the last year. We got our Thanksgiving turkey from them. I trust the way that they raise their animals and we're about to get some duck eggs to compare them to our chicken eggs to just prepare for the glory of getting ducks. We just got home from the farmer's market and we got a dozen duck eggs. So these are my chicken eggs with a big variety of different breeds. These are the duck eggs. There is one blue one, which she said is just a fluke. They're all the same breed, but she has one duck that lays blue eggs. Anyway, uh, I learned from her that duck eggs have slightly more protein per egg, which makes sense because they're bigger and they have 50% more vitamin A than chicken eggs, and they just have different minerals and different vitamins in the egg. The chicken egg is more yellow throughout, but the yolk's a lot smaller. And in the duck egg, the yolk takes up much more of the volume. It's pretty cool. I like seeing them side by side. I'm excited to get ducks, and one day we'll have horses and goats and many, many more animals and more babies, and it's only going to get better. But my journey to homesteading will always have started with chickens. There's a lot to learn when you're getting started, but I'm here to help you. Happy growing.